Well, hello everybody. It's Marty Smith here for FullTiltPokerReport.com. I was following the 25,000 Pot Limit Omaha Championship here on Full Tilt this weekend. Full of some really great Omaha players, including Phil Ivey, Gus Hansen, Eric Lindern, and here we are watching Patrick Antonius, who has actually made the final four. He's playing You're in Danger, is held by an online player named D. Dang, and uh, it just so happens that Patrick Antonius had just eliminated his brother, who plays under the name Trex313, and his name is Hack Dang. Both of those brothers are extremely talented cash game players, especially heads up, and, well, you know, they're online poker millionaires, I suppose, and very well versed in Pot Limit Omaha as well. Hey, it wasn't an easy challenge to get to the Final Four. They had to get through a lot of big-name players, as I mentioned before. And among them were uh, Tom Dwan, Scott Fishman, and Omaha Specialist uh, Robert Williamson III. The other players who are still in this are Slack Tarn and Yugata Bugata. Now, it just so happens that the, of the last four players in here, that other match ended in a single hand and here it is I was watching the first hand of Antonius match and just keyed in to this hand here and look at what we got players are gonna get their chips in the middle here you got a Bugatta is thinking about this third and fourth are getting a hundred and sixty eight thousand and we don't actually find out what he had because we're not in the game so anyway third and fourth both get 168,000. Second place gets 320,000. And first place brings in 560,000. By contrast, we were what I was watching this match. Went 450 hands or so, an hour and a half long. Unbelievably grueling match. Have you ever played a heads up match that's lasted an hour and a half? Well, granted, these chip structures move much slower. This match went back and forth, and Antonius got caught bluffing a few times. Uh, You're in Danger was actually sitting here quite effectively, more or less taking on a calling role, as you can see from the uh, statistics in Omaha Indicator. Patrick Antonius was taking on the gambler. He was the one who was betting and, and uh, playing aggressive. And when you're up against a player like that, hey, you know what the strategy is. Call. Look at this, after 134 hands, it's pretty much all back to even. They each started with 6,000 chips. And after 134 hands, back and forth. It's virtually even now again. At this stage, though, the blinds are still only 60 and 120. Super slow blind structure. Patrick is raising so many, uh, so many hands. Dang has to take a stand here with uh, less than 3,000 chips now. And uh, this is probably it. Last 900 chips goes in. Patrick calls with top pair. Ace is over there for Dang, but a straight. Wow. Okay, so Patrick uh, kind of sucked out on that, but... The odds were likely in his favor after the flop. And given that Dang Stack had gotten to the point of, uh, you know, below 3,000, got to be pushing it. And uh, that worked out for Patrick. Now, Patrick's match took an hour and a half. Slack Turn has been waiting for that table for an hour and a half because his tournament lasted a single hand. Outrageous outrageous a single hand made the difference of somebody finishing with a hundred and sixty eight thousand or at least three hundred and twenty thousand as you can see slack Taren is offering patrick antonius a deal here and patrick antonius said no thank you slack Taren says okay no deal but slack Taren is no slouch either and he goes on to win the twenty five thousand dollar heads up championship and eliminates Patrick Antonius. It wasn't an easy feat, but uh, I think Patrick met his 
aggressive gambling match here in slack turn and worked out for him 560 grand congratulations again great tournament this is marty smith for full tilt poker report com